Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. You're going to preview the Patriots-Jets game for you this Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock Eastern, week three of the NFL coming up. And I'll let you know the best way to make some money in this game. We've got a money-making opportunity for you, along with a teaser recommendation. We don't talk a lot about six-point teasers. I'm going to point out why I think this game could be a pretty good teaser play for you as well this week in the NFL. Hey, if you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to comment below. Leave me your thoughts, not only on this game, but all the NFL games for week three this Sunday and Monday. Let's win together on Wager Talk TV. Doing this video early week on Tuesday. I'll be back later this week uh, on Friday night into Saturday with the NFL Fade the Public video, of course. But it does not look like this game is going to be a public play because these are two teams I think right now the public wants nothing to do with. And as of Tuesday afternoon, looking at the Wager Talk live odds screen, New England's pretty much a two and a half point favorite across the board. Minus 115, though, which means it's close to hitting that key number of minus three. So we'll see if it gets there later in the week. And that's why I want to point out, first of all, I think this game makes a good teaser play. Taking the Jets from two and a half up to eight and a half covers all those key margins, three, four, six, and seven. And another reason why it makes a good teaser play is because the total is extremely low. 37s right now in most locations, although I do see one of the sharper a couple of the sharper books around the world dropped to 36 and a half. And I want to point this out. We talk about how key that number three is. Difference between minus two and a half, minus three, the most key number in all of sports betting. Over-unders, 37 is a critical number as well. You know, when I started 28 football seasons ago, and, um, you know, 37s are very common, so were 41s. And 37, 41 were the most common total margins. We don't ever see 37s anymore. Most NFL games are in the 40s and the 50s. This should be a low-scoring defensive battle. Obviously, two struggling offenses, two good defenses, two good defensive head coach schemers as well. 37, there's about a 4 to 5% chance this game lands exactly on 37 points. A lot of final scores get us there. 20 to 17, for example, is a very common margin. And I think that's a reason why if you're going to play the under, you want to lock in that 37 now because some 36 and a halves are starting to show. And it's really the only way I could recommend this game is the under. I know it looks obvious. The public will probably be leaning that way as well. But last time they played last season was a 10-3 New England win, and that was on a punt return with five seconds remaining. In fact, there hadn't been a kick, a punt return for a touchdown all season until Week 10 last year in the NFL, and that's how the game finished when a rookie runs it back for New England. Keep in mind, Zach Wilson did play this game last year. He was awful, 9 for 22 passing. Mac Jones, 23 for 27, had a really good showing, and they still did not have an offensive touchdown. So, both defenses were lights out. They played earlier in the season. It was a 22-17 New England win, so it barely got over this total with 39 points. But once again, the rematch, nothing misleading about that. Uh, Jets had total six first downs in that game. New England only had 13 last November. Uh, by the way, New England's now beaten the Jets 14 straight times. You know, I misspoke on my Fade the Public video last week. And once again, I love the comments. I love the support. You pointed out, I said the Dolphins had lost 14 straight. I meant the Jets. I was looking ahead to this week. I do a lot of advanced work, and I had this game on my mind as I was talking Dolphins-Patriots last week. But once again, the Jets are the team that have lost 14 straight to New England, and it's actually worse than that. If you really dive deeper, um, two of the uh, rec their, their two recent wins before that 14-game straight-up losing streak both came in overtime. In fact, New England won the other five games in regulation. So regulation only, the Patriots have won 19 straight against the Jets. So Yet another reason why I think the teaser makes some sense here. Instead of taking the Jets 2.5, get them up to 8.5, cover all those key margins, especially those extra points work well when it's a low-scoring game with a total of 37. That should be the case. So some ways to attack this game at 1 o'clock Eastern on Sunday afternoon. Hey, hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, a like. And don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell for instant alerts when my NFL Fade the Public video for Week 3 does go live this weekend here on Wager Talk TV and also my college football top 25 video as well. As I said, leave me some comments below. Let me know what other games you would tie the Jets up in a two-team six-point teaser. Let's get some teaser recommendations as well here for week three. And if you're interested in trying out my service and you're a new user, you get a three-day sampler for just $55 right now with promo code STEVE3. That's for new users only. But anybody out there, including those of you that have been with me the last couple of weeks, by the way, we enter this week now in a 12-3, and 80% college and pro football run. So if you've been part of that 12 and 3, 80% run the past couple weeks in college and pro football, I know you've made some serious money. Why not upgrade to a full year right now and save big with promo code SM365? Here's how it works. You get every month for just $99 a month. That works out to just over $3 a day for the next full year of college and pro football, college and pro basketball, and baseball 
just over $3 a day with promo code SM365. That's available to everybody. New users and current users can upgrade right now. Go to my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com for full details. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash SM. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment below. And stay right here on Wager Talk TV for more great NFL game preview coming up next.